okay here we are again and i have something a little bit different again today so um i have had some of my photos of my paintings my artwork made into little books just purely for myself for nobody else really um the first one that i ever did was this watercolor meditation pictures i might have to hold it up to get rid of the shine and i started it off by saying this little book contains watercolor paintings for you to bring back a memory of something or somewhere similar i hope they bring feelings of joy or relaxation or peace and tranquility enjoy taking a moment to just see what each picture evokes for you and there are some pages at the end to make notes for self-guidance. I only ever had one of these printed, so. Um, and then we have some of my paintings. Uh, there's me saying I don't do florals, but I did in the beginning. Um, rather like the trees. But there is quite a mixture of paintings in here these are all from quite some time ago <laughs> probably near the beginning 2018 2019 probably a bit of a crossover there um, I was experimenting in lots of different ways but you will see that there's quite a few flowers in this one and I just thought it was interesting to pull this out and see, actually, what did I used to do? And then this one has got little space for notes, things I'm grateful for, things I value in life. What are my short term goals, long term goals? What do I do in my life that is creative? And then your notes. So it was an idea, but... um. Yeah, it was right at the beginning and I never went any further with that one. The next one that I did um, was called A Painting a Day, a collection of paintings and words by me. And so this one, um, I did a little quote from Hymen Sunim um, within each of us. There is an inner witness quietly observing what goes on inside and outside of us. Born from a place of silence and wisdom, even when the world churns up a storm of emotions, the witness sits calmly in the eye of the storm, unharmed, luminous and all-knowing. I've done it again with my phone. Let's put you on silent. And then we've got a picture of an oak tree. The mighty oak stands solid and true, roots firmly grounded, branches reaching to the skies. And then some autumn leaves. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been looking for. We are the change that we seek. And that's a quote from Barack Obama one i if it doesn't have anything underneath it i did it basically <laughs> then we've got um the lighthouse a lighthouse stands alone guardian of the seas content within its purpose like the self that is at ease creativity so this was more of an abstract picture Creativity comes in many forms. It gives joy and self-expression, totally absorbed and immersed in the moment. And we've got one of a mountain. We all need goals and motivation in life to feel that we are growing and have a purpose. Remember that the journey to reach the goal or summit of the mountain is just as important. Then we've got a quote from Hymen Sunim, the beach. 
Don't assume that a still mind is boring. Inside the stillness hides the utmost peace and contentment. Quote, quote by Rumi, Three Gates. Before you, before you speak, let your words pass through three gates. Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Berries. I obviously made this one up. If we open our eyes and pay attention to the details, we can find many things each day to be grateful for. Reflection. Another one of mine. Through reflection we grow and adjust what we know. Then Carl Rogers, The Journey of Life. The good life is a process, not a state of being. It is a journey, not a destination. Field study. How often do we see the field but miss the detail? Colour. The world is full of colours and hues. Is the tree really brown or is there some blue? Freedom. Freedom of speech and freedom to do. Free to explore and free to relax. Free to make friends that are new. Free to hold on to me and you. Purity. Home is where we explore from. Home is where we return to. Playfulness. Oh, that's the picture I have at the top of my stairs. Play is not just for children. Play is important for all adults to keep us using our imagination and creativity. The senses. Lavender doesn't just look pretty and striking. Lavender often attracts the sound of the bees. Lavender has a relaxing and heady aroma. Lavender sways in the gentle breeze. And our end one. So I was obviously into a bit of poetry then. <laughs> Sometimes we surprise ourselves with the things that we've done in the past. We forget to maybe look back and look back on our progress. This is my art from 2022 to 2023, but in August. It only goes up to August. So I have this painting in my studio. I think I made that into some cards. That's an acrylic that is, I think that's in my studio. So, um, you will have probably seen some of these in those sketchbooks that I showed you. I decided that some of those that I really liked, I would put into this little book. There we go. And it's an idea. I can't remember where some of them were printed, but this one is obviously Popsa. So you might want to look that up for yourselves. And then this one is um, a collection basically from 2018 to 2024. So this has got, this one has got glossy paper. <laughs> um, and these are some of the things that you have seen me do on YouTube. Some, not all. But somehow they look rather splendid once they're in a book like this. I think it makes them... Oh, that's the one on my, my intro for all of my YouTubes. That one is in my lounge. That one I had um, put onto a, uh, like a sandwich tin. That is a copy of a big one on my wall. And I had this one made into a coaster. So sometimes it's nice to do other things with our art, I think. And I wanted to show you those. But also, I have a place called Tyrrell's Wood near me. It's, um, you probably can walk it, 
but it's about 10 minutes in the car. And I started going there with my son. He showed me. I didn't even know the place existed and I'd lived here for years. So um, I owe Tyrrell's Wood to my son, really. And I had newly started my art and I picked up this concertina um, sketchbook. It's a Hana Mule. And so these were some of the first sketches that I did. And you can see I tried, tried to make it kind of flow from one page to the next, but then I kind of gave up. And if we turn it over, we have some more sketches there. The one with the swing, my son actually sat on that and swang. Um, he uh, He's 30 now, so um, yeah, it was only 20, 20, 2018. It was, it was before lockdown. So um, you can see that I actually started with line and wash mainly. This is my second sketchbook. And I stuck with the theme of these concertina pages, basically. But I think when I look at these, I just love them. They do something for me. Um, on a lot of them, I've added a little bit of gold somewhere. Um, <laughs> you can see. But... Um, Maybe this is where my true love is. I've been going through my sketchbooks, going through lots. I mean, I haven't gone through all of my finished ones yet, but I came across this and I thought, hmm, perhaps when I look through, it will show me something. This is a slightly bigger Hanamule one. These are all Hanamule, um, but it's a, another concertina one again. And I quite like the fact that you can go over to the pages, which I, I've done quite a lot in this particular um, sketchbook. For some reason, that one's come out a little bit washed out. I'm not quite sure why. And then I've put on this one. The last page of this particular book, anyway, with my son Josh, just like... He was the first to show me Tyrrell's Woods. So I'd forgotten I'd even put that in there. So that was the 5th of August, 22. The rest I've done in lots of different sketchbooks and I feel a bit sad about that now. I wished I'd have kept going with these. So I might start that up again. But I did have a couple of books um, printed these are Popsa again. Um, I think this one is as well. Yeah, this one's Popsa. Um, and I've made a note of where the, the these are photos that go up to, oh, it must have been, yeah, 2018. These go up to 20 November 2020. So if I want to get more printed, I do have lots of um, photos from Tyrrell's Woods. And let me just try and move that so that you can see it a little bit better. But hopefully you will see these lovely woods and um, you can see why it's a huge inspiration for me. Um, it's just lovely. And they have these ramps for where it gets a little bit um, boggy and water, um, water comes in. Lots of these little bridges to cross. And these are all my own photos. Um, and Tyrrell's Wood is actually part of um, the Boudicca Way. So, um, or Boadicea, I think we used to call her, but anyway, Boudicca. 
um, and it's really pretty. This is the fairies' home. Wiles fairies sleeping here. And people leave little trinkets and things for the fairies. And you can see, well, you, I'm not sure if you can, but it, it says finders keepers. So um, I would leave all sorts of little paintings and they would have um, positive affirmations on the back. Um, that was something that I did quite a lot. Oh, the lovely bar. But you can see the street, the sun streams through on a nice sunny day. Um, and it is, it's a really pre pleasant place to go. It's part of the Woodland Trust that we have here in the UK. So that was the first one that I had printed. And then I decided to go bigger. That's my photograph. So this is book two. And these are much bigger glossier photographs that's one of the little seats that you can perch on and do some painting gosh it really is shiny with the glossy finish but there's all sorts of interesting shapes and let's see if we can get that one there we go peeking through the trees across the fields we're very rural here in um, Norfolk, East Anglia, where I am. One of those little bridges. And there we have another one of my finders keepers that I've left. But that gives you a good idea. So there are some nice pathways. There are a lot of these little wigwammy things. That was another one of my finders keepers. I've got um, some wax and wax seals. Um, and I did a few that were like that. If any of you don't know, the finders keepers are just little, little paintings, little bits of paintings um, with those positive affirmations on for people to take down and keep I've obviously put those in envelopes I think I did bookmarks one time um, but yeah you can hopefully without the gloss that's gorgeous it's another seat oops there we go that was obviously autumn so we've got some slightly different seasons and that's on the edge that's um, uh, water in there so um, maybe that's something that you would like to think about for yourselves um, maybe not just keeping your your work oh, I've gone upside down maybe not just keeping your work in um, sketchbooks or needing to put them in frames and on the wall um, eventually we run out of wall space um, maybe doing something like that um, with Popsa um, or some other there are, I can't remember where I got these this one done but it's not Popsa and I don't know if it actually says anything anywhere to tell me where I got it from. It doesn't. Oh, I don't know. There is this code on it. If I can find it, then I can refer to it for you. Not doing anything. Oh, there we go. No, it doesn't come up with anything, sadly. So I really cannot remember where I got that one done. But Popsa works out quite well. Um, it's just that on this one, you could um, add your own writing. 
anyway let me know if there's um a better way of having these done what do you have you ever done that have you ever had your paintings put into a little like photo album or had them made into a, a, a little book your um, photographs of your paintings I'd be very interested um, to know for future for myself and I'm sure maybe there are others of us that would be interested too so something a little bit different not a book review but more like a photo album review I suppose okay Take care and stay healthy, stay calm and I will see you next time.